Recently in one of the blog, I mentioned few set of symptoms you might be facing if you are having compromised gut health like bloating, constipation, migraine, headaches, skin issues, uh, fatigue, mood swings, depression, anxiety, etc. Well, more than 10,000 people reacted on that post and 1,000 plus messages I received where most of the people were having similar reactions that yes, we are having these symptoms on day-to-day -day basis. So can you suggest us any one food or a remedy or a detox juice or a drink to fix our gut health? Let's understand first what is gut. Gut is basically a gastrointestinal tract. It starts from your mouth and ends to your anus. It involves your esophagus, your stomach, your small intestine, large intestine and your rectum. So this entire digestive tract is actually consists of trillions of bacteria and they are as unique as your fingers. Yes, every individual is having different set of bacteria in their microbiome. Now these bacteria are good and bad in nature. So why we call uh, some bacteria good and some bad? Why we label them in this good and bad way? Because good bacteria basically do everything good for your system in terms of removing the toxins, uh, helping you in anti-aging, like uh, helps you in building your immune system. So whatever good you can imagine for your body, so this good bacteria has its role uh, you know, to, uh, to play. But on the other side, bad bacteria are a little aggressive in nature and that's the reason we call them bad bacteria. But then we need both of us. So what is the ideal ratio? The ideal ratio is 70 is to 30, which means in your microbiome, you should have at least 70% good bacteria and 30% bad is fine. Which clearly says that your good bacteria should always, you know, be in a leading position. They should always dominate the bad ones. The bad ones should not dominate the good ones because if bad bacteria take a lead role, then that's the time when you start getting all these symptoms which I mentioned in my blog like uh, constipation, acidity, headache, migraine, mood swings fatigue etc because this is how the bad bacteria so if you keep on feeding the bad bacteria then naturally they will do what they know you know i mean uh, whatever role they can they are capable of playing so the bad bacteria are definitely having no capability to uh, basically serve your system in a good way so you have to make sure that you that the colony of a good bacteria should always be in uh, like power. For example, if you want any government to come in power, you know, you start casting vote and majority of the people when they vote, you know, the any one government, so they basically come into a power and they do whatever they can do, you know, based on their capacity and capabilities and the agendas. So similarly, the good bacteria and bad bacteria, they both have their own agendas to play in your human body. So if you want the good things to happen in your body, if you want your uh, gut to behave well, then you have to bring good bacteria in power. What is the way, I mean, how you can bring, you know, how you can increase the colony of a good bacteria? So let me tell you one thing, there is no one food there is no one detox drink or a detox juice or there is no one remedy uh, which can actually, you know, bring these, uh, which can increase the colony of a good bacteria. Nor it's going to happen overnight, you know. I mean, it's like uh, right now if the bad ones are in power, it's like a process where you have to slowly and gradually increase the number of good bacteria in your microbiome by feeding them on consistent basis what they actually like to eat what they thrive on so now all these good bacteria they basically like everything whatever is clean everything whatever is coming from nature that's what they uh, like survive on so they like uh, all the fibers fermented foods uh, seasonal fresh vegetables fruits nuts seeds so anything which is clean in nature anything which is not processed anything which is not junk that's what your good bacteria is like. So you start feeding them on day-to-day -day basis so that slowly and gradually, you know, 
you are going to increase the number of good bacteria in your microbiome once the good bacteria will take a lead role in your microbiome then that's the time when you start finding changes in your body that you are getting rid of all these symptoms like migraines headache constipation so it's not going to happen you know like overnight it's a ongoing process it's a consistent thing which you have to consistent you can say action which you have to perform uh, to increase the colony of a good bacteria so start making clean choices at the same time you have to uh, you know make sure that you are moving well sleeping well because just by feeding you know like the good bacteria you are not going to gain good health you have to make sure that the absorption is also taking place uh, which is only possible if you are living an active life if you are sleeping well uh, because these are also you know the major factors which basically contributes you know in your uh, day to day functioning of your uh, of your entire body so you have to eat well you have to sleep well and you have to live a active life so take care